Speech. Your speech is entitled Form. And so let's hear it for Kobe. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Good morning. Let me ask, let's start off by asking you how many of your emotional cups runneth over when you have to go into an atmosphere uh, where you have to make small talk, where you have to make conversations with people that you may not know? Okay. Show of hands. Anybody that makes them uncomfortable? So people that love those scenarios? Because I'm going to go with the first part. I tend to be one that is not a big fan of small talk. And uh, I, I go with the idea of fewer words, more impact. And it's quite funny because the business that I'm in, every day I initiate conversations. I probably initiate conversations with strangers every single day at least 30, 40, maybe even 50 times in a day, I will have a conversation with somebody that I've never met, and I'm always digging to find out more about them. And years ago, I had a good friend of mine teach me a process that's very easy to learn and remember that I'm gonna pass on to you, that you can utilize any, any sales situation, any interpersonal interaction, that you can get a conversation started and start to make a connection. It's an acronym called FORM, F-O-R-M. Real simple to remember. F stands for family. So as you go in and interact with somebody, the first interaction or the first few questions that you should start off with is something that stems around family. Why is that? There's a lot of reasons. If you were to look at uh, uh, throughout the chakra system, if you know what chakras are, energy points within the body, that first chakra is based right down here and that is associated with our tribe, uh, uh, the people that, are, that we associate ourselves with. Family, for instance. So we all have family, and we all have a, draw, a direct connection with family. And when you start to talk with people on a family level, you'll instantly connect because it's something that everybody has, good, bad, or indifferent. We all have family. In fact, I remember reading a story of a man who was a captive. He, uh, he was captured in Iran. He was held as a captive, and he was being tortured. And when they were starting to torture him, the first thing that he did is he looked at his captive and asked him, do you have a son? And he said instantly when he asked him when he had a son and he responded yes, there was this connection and the, and the, the torturing stopped because now he, rather than being an enemy to them, he was now, they, there was a connection that they were both human beings, that they had some kind of link. So that family connection is really, really key and it's a great way to start a personal communication and to get to know somebody. And it's very simple questions. Uh, when I go into somebody's house that I may have not, uh, I may have uh, met before or not met before, and I go into family, uh, you could be simple questions such as, "Are you married? Do you have children? How old are your children? Does your family live in the area?" Just very simple things because as they start to respond, you can then respond back, and you'll find things that will connect. Oh yeah, I have a brother. I have uh, my 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 father lives in Lake Forest. What whatever it may be, you'll start to have something that can flow. So as you go through that conversation, a few questions in family, then you switch over to the O, which is occupation. Because everybody has some kind of occupation. Even if they're retired, they've got an occupation or they had one. So then you can go into that flow of occupation, talk a little bit, ask the question of, well, what do you do for a living? Do you enjoy your work? What are the challenges that you find in your work? Do you have... Are, you, are, are things going well for you in your occupation? Are you seeing struggles? There's a million ways that you can go here, but you start off with family, you transition into occupation, because we know that those are things that we all have that we can connect on. And then last, the, the next step that you go into is the R, which is recreation. Everybody does something for fun, even if it's nothing. Some people love nothingness. So what I do when I go into somebody's home, I usually look for clues. I'll look around and I'll see, is there something that gives me an idea of, of a, 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 something that they do for recreation? Are there golf clubs in the corner? Do I see a surfboard? Do I, uh, do I see a, a, a baseball hat or the, on the TV? Is there sports? Whatever it may be, I'll look for clues 
And as I transition to it, it's a real simple question. What do you like to do for fun? See, you've connected on the family. If you've gotten to know a little bit about what they do for a living and in their occupation. And then you go into, hey, what do you like to do for fun? And that's when you find that it really starts to flow. Because yeah, there's nothing better than talking to people about what they like to do for fun. The tricky one is when you go, what do you like to do for fun? And they go, ah, I don't really do anything for fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, then you got a little bit of challenge. But look for the signs. And anything in, in, in any interpersonal communication, there's two things that you always want to keep forethought of your mind and it's it's with everything in life if you want to be successful with anything in life I really believe that you just need two things awareness and intent you got to be aware of what your intention is so if you're interacting if you're going into an atmosphere where you're getting to know people you have to be aware of what your intention is is your intention to truly get to know the person to get a feel of what's going on is your intention to portray yourself as a certain person or a certain expert and then from there, keep your awareness on what that intention is and keep your awareness of what the atmosphere is feeding you because by staying aware within the moment, you'll pick up on cues. Like I said, you might find golf clubs in the corner, something of that nature that will give you something that you can, you can run with. And then the last part of it, the M, is for message. Talk about the family, talk about occupation, talk about recreation, and then you easily segue into your message because by the time you've gone through the F, the O, and the R, the family, occupation, and recreation, you've made that connection, you are one-on-one -on -one with them, you've also fed back to them because as they told you a little bit about your life, you've then mirrored it. You've, you've reacted or responded back giving them little bits about your life. You now have a connection. You can move into your message of whatever that is. Now, message is there if you're in a sales atmosphere. Uh, if it's just hey, small talk, you may not, ne you may never get to message. But as long as you have the family, occupation, and recreation happening, you're going to have that connection. You're going to have a nice, smooth transition within all conversations, and it's something that doesn't take a lot of time to think of in the back of your head. It just happens naturally. So with that, go out in the world and use a little form to bring your relationships together. <laughs>